While widespread, it's really nothing more than an assumption President Biden and Donald Trump will be the two main choices on the ballot next fall. After all, there are still 13 months, numerous legal fights, and health concerns to consider. So set in stone, it is not, even if some insist otherwise. Trump will be the nominee. He is the leader of a national movement, and that's a totally different psychological and emotional relationship than candidacy. Trump's poll numbers are dominant, but other numbers loom. Four indictments, 91 charges, and multiple civil suits. Most folks haven't even decided who they're voting for. Even one third of Trump supporters say they would consider voting for somebody else. And exactly why others are still swinging away. Uh, Nikki Haley did a good job talking about policy and legislation. The GOP should clear the field, get rid of everybody, including Trump, and let Nikki Haley be the GOP candidate. And behind the scenes, some trying to prop up Virginia's governor, Glenn Youngkin, who isn't even running as another Trump alternative. Democrats, too, may have other options in mind, since 68% of voters are concerned Biden may not be mentally fit for another term. Many convinced California's Governor Gavin Newsom, a Biden cheerleader, may eventually jump in himself. You know, it's going to be interesting to see how much more the Biden administration keeps rolling out Gavin Newsom it, as a surrogate, because he's very effective at it, right? It much more effective than the, than the current president. Now having to address the hypotheticals. But You're not plotting the Biden anything. Administration. There's no, no plan B for just, you. Uh, no, and perhaps there's never been more consistent words that have come out of my mouth. But despite all that chatter and hand-wringing, as of now, at least according to the polls, voters in each party have made it clear their top two choices are Biden and Trump. On Capitol Hill, I'm Scott Thuman.